Hey everybody, welcome. I want to introduce you to Juniper Networks Certification Program. I think that's exactly what the acronym stands for. Juniper actually has, and let me get over here to this uh, webpage, they actually have a uh, acronym for their certification program. It is, first of all, their website is juniper.net. Let me blow this up a little bit. And let me see how easily I can get to it. Go to training. Let's go to certification. You can click here on the heading. Uh, and there's a few things here. Let's try that. Let's click on that heading. Let's see what this does. Okay. Juniper Networks Certification Program. So Juniper actually calls their entire program of certifications the JNCP. This is not a certification. <laughs> JNCP is not a certification. It's the name. Once again, I'll reiterate, it's the name of the entire program. All right. So everything listed here is under the umbrella of the Juniper Networks Certification Program. All right. I just wanted to be clear about that. Uh, it says it's a multi-tiered program of written and hands-on labs. All right. So Anyway, uh, like Cisco, they have various levels. They have the associate level, they have the specialist level, the professional level, and the expert level. Interestingly, the specialist level has just recently been introduced into, into Cisco's uh, lineup of certifications. They've always had kind of like a product specialist or uh, something like that. It was a less well-known thing that Cisco had where you could get a specialty in a certain product or something like that. But they've just recently put into the Cisco program, uh, along with um, the technician level and the associate level, they inserted a specialist level in there that you get kind of when you're on your way to becoming a pro level, a CCNP. When you take one of the concentration exams, I think, or even one of the core exams, you get a specialty along the way. So back to Juniper, they've pretty much always had this specialist level. And so at the associate level, it's pretty much known as JNCIA something. Specialist is JNCIS something. Professional is JNCIP something. And expert is JNCIE something. <laughs> All right. So, you know, they, they modify it a little bit based on the track that you're in. Interestingly, automation and DevOps is simply called DevOps, JNCIA DevOps. Cloud is plainly called JNCIA Cloud. Data Center is JNCIA Junos. So for a long time, Juniper has had JNCIA Junos. And that's been the basic entry-level associate certification for Juniper. Uh, and so I think they just more recently started introducing these other specialties in the associate level. So there we are. As you can see, JNCIA Junos shows up in three places. So it's the same exam. I mean, JNCIA Junos is what it is, but it's the entry level for data center. It's the entry level for enterprise route switch, and it's the entry level for SP route switch. All right. Uh, so you know what? I'll just throw up here real quick. This is who I am. These are the certs I have. I'll put a separation between them so you can clearly see. Um, so those are the Juniper ones that I have. I've got a few of, I've got three of the associate levels. They, they literally call you a JNCIA, JNCIA times three when you get three. Uh, I've got the cloud one, the Junos one, and the design one. So JNCDA is in fact a design uh, associate level cert. There it is right there. Okay. So uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to, I just wanted to give you a brief overview of all of the certs. And I want to start off by talking about JNCIA Junos. So let's get into that one. Uh, when you click on, it's kind of funny. It, you clicked on it and it takes you to the data center track because you clicked on the one that's right there 
on the data center track. So that's kind of cool, even though it's the same exam. So again, let's click on it one more time and let's look at that. As you can see, JNCIA Junos is in fact JN0-103. Data center track, JNCIA Junos, JNCIA Junos exam code, JN0103. Let me go back. I'll jump down, for instance, to enterprise routing and switching, JNCIA Junos. Click on it. Sure enough, it takes us to the enterprise route switch track, but the entry level is GNCIA Junos. Again, same code. So it is the same exam. Okay, so no matter which one you click on for JNCIA Junos, whatever track you're on, it's the same exam to start off with at the entry level to get going along this path, along this career path of enterprise, ENT, 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 okay? So let's look at JN0-103, otherwise known as JNCIA Junos. Uh, we are at, at iteration 103 in the year 2021. So that's the one we need to focus on. Here's your exam objectives. You have Junos operating system fundamentals, user interface, configuration basics, operational monitoring and maintenance, routing fundamentals, and routing policy and firewalls. If you expand one of these, it gives you a little more of what you need to know. I'll click on a couple of these. It closes the other one if you click on one. So uh, I just want to quickly look. This one says identify. This one says identify the concepts and operations. This one also says modify, manage, and save configuration files. Okay, and here, identify main elements of these various things. Describe how to configure basic components. Was there a trailing comment on these other ones? Let's go back to user interface. No, there wasn't. Junos OS fundamentals? No, there wasn't. Okay, so operational monitoring and maintenance. Identify methods of these things. Describe monitor or maintenance procedures. Okay, routing fundamentals. Identify basic routing concepts. Uh, routing tables, routing versus forwarding tables. Okay, describe how to configure or monitor. So I just want to clue in to what they're expecting you to know in these groups and these topics related to that group. So if you've seen my CCNA intro video, you see I do the same thing where I want to get an understanding right away. Are we just needing to identify something or do we, know, do we need to know something about configuration? And so here they're giving you a clue that you need to configure and monitor. So monitor might be verification or show commands as well. And then let's look at policy and firewall filters. Here we go. Identify, but also how to configure, how to monitor. All right. So uh, this is... Just a brief overview of the blueprint related to JNCIA Junos exam. And so I'm going to kick off this video playlist that I hope to put together to get you well on your way in your journey towards accomplishing that JNCIA Junos exam uh, certification that you so desire. All right. So I look forward to you joining me through this.